What's up, everyone? What was going to be an Indianapolis Colts training camp preview has now unfortunately turned into an Indianapolis Colts injury report. We'll talk about that next. Hey everyone, it's Josh Butts here with No Butts About It, and today we're going to be talking about an injury that just happened a few hours ago, and that is Samson Ebucom. Not a huge name with the Indianapolis Colts, however, he did have huge impact last season in his first season with the team. Um, before we get into that, if you could hit that subscribe button, it really helps us out. It's a huge um, help for us. We're trying to turn this channel into a full-time gig. And the more subscribers we get, the closer to that dream we get. So uh, that that's all I've, all I've got to say. Okay, so Samson Ebucom tore his Achilles and is out for the season, according to multiple league sources. Uh, it was a non-contact injury during a, an 11-on-11 period on field. And he's just like... It is what it is right now, right? So Samson Ebucom, like I said, not a huge name. However, he did lead the Indianapolis Colts last season in sacks. He had 9.5 sacks in his first year with the team. Um, he's entering his eighth season, and he also had three forced fumbles, which was also another team high, and he was one of the highest in quarterback hurries. I believe he was second on the team. Uh, only or quarterback hits in quarterback hits. He was second on the team only to DeForest Buckner, another former 49ers player. So that is great company for Samson Ebucom to be in with. Um, it's just unfortunate that we won't be able to see him more this season. Now, Looking at the Indianapolis Colts depth chart, they have some guys. They have quite a few pass rushers they can work with. This defensive line has really been something that the Indianapolis Colts have been touting as the strength of their defense. I mean, uh, their linebackers, their corners, their safeties, they're good, but their defensive line was really what they were coming into this season with saying, you're going to have to get past these guys first before you even make it into that second level, and we don't think that's going to happen. So, Samson Ebucom goes down. Who do they have? Well, according to the ESPN unofficial depth chart, Deyu Odebingo, I am so sorry if I'm mispronouncing your name, by the way, moves into that spot as the next uh, pass rusher up. And another guy who's not a huge name, he's been with the Indianapolis Colts since 2021, in his rookie season. Uh, he also had some sneaky good snap stats though last year. And maybe, and I'll, I'll admit, I, I was going to say this during the training camp video, so I'll just say it now. I realized when I was researching for the training camp video, I have not done a good job of paying attention to the Indianapolis Colts defensive players. Their offense, I've got down, no problem. And I am a Colts fan. Like, they're my number two team. They're my home state's team. They're, I root for them. I just haven't done a good job personally. And that's something that I'm really going to try to do better of this year so that I can make better content for you. But Deo Odebingo, Ode, Ode I think is his name. Ode, Ode Ingbo. I am so sorry. Anyway, he had eight sacks last season. Um, he's going to get more snaps this year with Ebucom going down. But who I really think this is going to end up affecting is who the Indianapolis Colts brought in this season in round one of the 2024 NFL draft. They not only decided to draft this guy, they decided to say this is the best defensive player in the NFL draft, and he was the first one off the board. There were a lot of names they could have gone with to give this honor, but they chose to give it to Leatu Latu. And I, I love this pick personally, and I've made the Colts draft grades video. I thought that this was a fantastic pick. 
The only concern with Leatu Latu is his injury history. Well, now you're going to have Leatu Latu get the opportunity, or at least more opportunities than he was before, where he's going to be able to come out and say, look, I can be a part of this team. I can be an impact player for this team. And I'm not going to get hurt. I have some resolve. I have some strength. Remember, he did get medically retired by his first university. Then he went and played rugby. And then he went to UCLA and had a great season. So, Leatu Latu definitely is a great bull rush pick. I don't know that he will be a starter week one. I think they'll probably put uh, Deo and Quiddy Pay ahead of him. But this is definitely going to get Leatu Latu some rotational snaps. He's going to get in there and he's going to have a chance to prove to NFL fans, to the NFL media who doubted his health that he can be that guy. I still think that the Indianapolis Colts are going to have a strong defensive line. Assuming this is the only injury to the line, and it's a big injury, they have the guys to still fill in that talent gap. They have the guys to make up for that production, I believe, especially because they drafted Leatu Latu. Um, If they hadn't drafted Leatu Latu, I think that depth would be hurting a bit more. Um, And I do kind of wonder if there's a chance that Leatu Latu could beat out Quiddy Pay for uh, the starting position. So that is something we should watch in training camp. Also, we want to watch Leatu Latu, make sure he's not getting injured in these uh, contact sessions. We'll see what happens. I'm hoping we get to see more of these guys in the NFL preseason. Um, It'll be interesting to see what uh, this new Shane Steichen offense does for the Indianapolis Colts. It'll be interesting to see um, a lot of things that the Colts are doing because I think they're going to be one of those teams that uh, makes a big jump from their previous year. And I've got some more videos planned talking about that, but I wanted to hop on and just like, you know, I guess announce this <laughs> Samson Ebucom injury, um, what it can mean, and why it's going to affect Leatu Latu the most. So. Short video, nothing super long, nothing super in-depth, um, but I appreciate you for watching. And once again, if you could, please subscribe, like, comment, let me know uh, if you're a Colts fan, what you're excited for this season. Um, what players should I be watching? What players do you want to hear me talk about more? And uh, we will go ahead and do that. We try to put out content that you want to see. So. Uh, To prevent myself from rambling, I'm just going to go ahead and end the video right here. And until next time, go do something nice for someone.